Today's video is made possible by our friends at Bespoke Post. Welcome back brothers to the shop. I'm very excited for today's video. We're going to get started on filling up the new Sonic Blue Snap-on box I got off Craigslist Marketplace. I've mocked up kind of a, the bench there. I just set it up there, kind of what we're gonna have there with the maple and the vise so you can kind of see what's going on. And today we're gonna be filling up all the drawers. This is gonna be exciting because this toolbox has got some really cool features. It's got the power drawer, so we can get all of our cordless stuff all charging neatly, no cords all over the place. But the really cool part of it is it's got the, uh, an, an organizing system that's really good for small bits and pieces that we're going to be going covering today as well. I was thinking last night as I was locking up and, and looking at the shop and such, you know, they tell us that when we're on an airplane and um, if we're unfortunate enough to have the oxygen masks fall down, they tell us to put the mask on ourselves first so that we can be of assistance to our family or other members in the compartment. And I think that that's really lost uh, with a lot of guys. You know, there's, you don't have to work and, and have an environment that is less than optimal. It's okay for you to set up your shop or your garage or your, or your office or whatever in a way that pleases you, that gives you pleasure, that, that gives you joy to work in. You know, if you are the provider, if you are the economic engine of your family, the way I see it is that the family needs to work to support that. Because if the man is out and he's producing and, and bringing home the bacon, so to speak, and bringing the money in, the idea that he should have to be, his area should have to be relegated to some dark, dank corner or a garage or while the rest of the family has the, the pick of the litter or the cream of, of the crop, uh, I think is wrong-headed. Mrs. W is really good about understanding this and supports me so that I can be successful and that I can do well because all of that trickles down to the family. If I can work and if I can bring home resources and if I can do well, the whole family benefits. It's okay to take a little bit of the resources from the family and, and to make yourself an environment that you enjoy working in. And that's what this is really all about. Life is short. Um, work is hard. You go out into the world and fight for a living, scratch and claw against, it's very competitive. You shouldn't have to come home uh, to a, a crummy environment, a, an environment that doesn't give you comfort and, and peace and that you don't enjoy. So that's what this is all about. And, and it doesn't have to be expensive, but it doesn't have to be gross either. So I, that's kind of what I, the way I think of it and look at it, look, look about it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's get started and uh, we'll start filling up drawer by drawer. How about we start with the power drawer? I've decided to go with uh, Milwaukee Tools, the M12s and M18s for my automotive, and I'll stick with the DeWalt for construction because I'm so well invested in it. One of the coolest things about this toolbox uh, is this power drawer, and that's what the plug we had, we were fighting with yesterday. What you have here is you've got a really uh, nice deep drawer that you can put all of your impact wrenches and such, and a really clever kind of design right there that that cable folds in there. No more cords hanging out and stretching all across your bench and tangling. Done once, done right, problem solved. Every time I open this drawer, it gives me the fizz. So here we've got a really clever outlet there. We got five out, five pluggers uh, and they're alternated so we don't, there's no conflicts if you have some of those larger ones. And then two SU, USB chargers right there. You know, and as a, a lot of guys are using these batteries now and as expensive as they are, it's not something that you, if you work in a shop that a guy would want to leave out. You know, guys could walk off with, you know, thousand dollars of batteries and just put them in his pocket, right? So that's kind of cool, but just the, the convenience of it and having the dual charger here, which is nice because one charger is going to be able to charge the 18s and the 12s. And, and I don't, the batteries are so good now, you know, a guy doesn't really need any more than that, but I can put that there. And that will be charging, and then plenty of room for all my impacts. So I'll just put my impacts in here. They have a kind of a little holster I was maybe I might get where they go into. It might be help organization a little bit, but this will be fine. These are about the size of the tools that I'm gonna have here. Put my light in there, a couple extra batteries. And we're good, check that out. That's pretty nice, pretty nice setup and still room for more. How about we put the mag drill right down here. There's a, right below the power drawer is a nice big deep 
drawer. I use this. I use this drill all the time, so that's why it's getting a uh, position of prominence here. And then everything, all the accoutrement, all the, the accessories that you need with it, all go in there a bit. And that, and that's done. Now it's going to be secure. I'd, yeah, that's be something you'd hate to have a guy walk off with if uh, that nice drill. So yeah. Man, I like that power drawer. That is really a great feature. I've had an epiphany of late. I've realized that I absolutely detest blow molded cases. I've never liked them. You want to talk about ridiculous. Look at the size of this thing. If you have a small shop and you need to be, store tools like this, why does this, why are these things so big? Look at the size of this mag drill. Could this fit in a smaller case? Look. It's ridiculous. I'm not, I'm not keeping these anymore. These, I've thrown them all in the trash because I'm not using my tools outside the shop. If you're a tradesman and you gotta pack stuff around and you've got bits and all that, I, maybe I can get it, but they're still terrible. I would love to see manufacturers go back to a nice, high quality, small, compact metal case with a place for some bits and accessories and such, but I'm done with it. So we're gonna put it in the box. You know, in that blow molded case, as big as it is, there's still, there's no room even to put the bits in. Ridiculous. But I'll tell you what isn't trash, and that's today's sponsor, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that sends boxes from up-and-coming companies, 90% are small businesses, that feature up-and-coming interesting products. Each box is gonna contain at least $70 worth of value of innovative and cool products. The cool thing about Bespoke Post is you only pay for what you want. You'll get a box assigned to you each month based on a quiz that you take when signing up. Before it's shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes inside and you can decide whether you want to keep it, swap it for a different box or offer, or skip the month entirely for absolutely no charge. It is nice to have something to look forward to. I thought we'd open these together, still factory sealed. So let's start with, this is the wet kit. This is one of the coolest boxes so far. Look at that, made in USA. We've got instructions there on how to sharpen multiple knives. A beautifully made little box. Look at the joinery on that. And everything fits inside in the three stones. And these are not cheap overseas stones. These are proper Arkansas stones right there. Look at that. These, this is as good as it gets right here. So you've got your fine, coarse, and medium. And a really nice little rubber holder that will keep that from, that, that from sliding on the box. Look at that. That's really nice. And the honing oil fits in there as well. A little honing oil on there. Man, Arkansas stones are cool. Pretty good kit, gentlemen. It's gonna be hard to top this one. Next up is the Terra kit. This is a real Hori Hori. A Hori Hori is a Japanese gardening tool. Goodness, that is nice. That is way nicer than the one that I bought. Look at that. What else we got here? These boxes seem to be getting better. Oh, this is cool. I have seen these before. This is a bird, a little, a songbird call. <laughs> we have some grooming detox scrub bar soap. And finally, we have the torch kit, the biggest one. This is interesting. We have a little tiny smoker here. So we've got an oak base that said, take some of these hickory chips. If you want to smoke meat, cheese, it said cocktails, put a small pile here and then light the hickory. It is certainly smoky in there. Said it takes about a minute or so. <laughs> That's pretty fun. That's kind of a cool, that'd be a fun thing to do at a party, wouldn't it? Gentlemen, we made out pretty good this month. If you'd like to get 20% off your first box, go to the link in the description and at checkout, enter Wrangler Star 20, or you can go to www.bespokepost forward slash Wrangler Star 20. Thanks for watching and back to the video. My second favorite feature of this box, oh my goodness, organization. One drawer with dividers that you can mix and match. These little screws in here, you can take them out, but you can change it, add it, comes with all sorts of them. Man, is this gonna be perfect? Every man needs a junk drawer, right? And for me, I need a junk electrical drawer. All these little fittings and stuff. Let's take a moment and uh, instead of having them all just mixed up and just a disaster, we'll get things organized by like and see how much nicer this is gonna be for our workflow. I've never had a junk drawer <laughs> look like that before. So this might change, but I thought oh, this would be perfect for all the shrink tape and all those little electrical items and fuses that are so hard to keep track of. And then my abrasives for the roll locks. I'm always digging around for those and have them in one spot organized. 
Man, that is good. I'm so inspired here. Let's continue on and let's do our electrical drawer for all things electrical. Maybe this middle one right here would be perfect for that. In the past when I wanted to do electrical repairs, I had everything in a DeWalt toolbox and you know, it was all, it, actually it was all kids spread out between several boxes and I've been looking forward to having everything just in one spot, you know, right at the workstation so you can come here and grab do whatever repairs you need to do or grab the tools that you need for that. I, these are kind of handy if you want to organize stuff. I'm, they're made in U.S. They're made by Ernst, E-R-N-S-T Manufacturing. Um, three compartment trays. They make really nice, these little organizing trays are, are handy for lots of small parts like zip ties and, and different things. I don't know if they all fit in here or not or what the best configuration would be, but we'll just keep going with it. Soldering iron. I gotta get a better heat gun. This is the, it works, but it's for how long is the question. Heat gun, I use that a lot. Uh, 3M silicone paste for waterproofing. My Fluke 77, my big crimpers, black tape, 12 volt tester, and my wire strippers. That's really the, the line, that's the bulk of it. There's room for more, but I'm sure we'll add and subtract things, but I think that'll do for now. The top drawer I'm going to set aside for specific motorcycle tools. I seems like I spend a lot of time on snow bikes, motorcycles. I can keep my manuals and the specific paint color for this box is supersonic blue. Some guys are asking about that. Um, again, these organizers are kind of nice. I've got uh, a torque wrench in there for spokes, some specialty tools, my low pressure air gauge, uh, nut drivers. We've got uh, our mini, some small torque wrenches here, uh, my factory bag tools, uh, pro motion pro tools, that's for a uh, rebuilding forks, fork nut, uh, bead buddy for changing tires, great tools, they make great tools, uh, chain breaker, high pressure pumps for forks, sag scale for suspension, this is my custom built pliers for removing master links, uh, rear shock adjuster, and spark plug wrench, I believe. One of these smaller drawers on the right, I was thinking might be handy to have uh, measuring instruments. Nice to have all that in one place. Instead of strewn all over the place. This deeper drawer here I thought would be pretty good for gunsmithing stuff. I do spend a fair amount of time with that. Reaction rod, AR tool, torque wrench and bits, cleaner. I've got a bunch of these bins, I just rando parts, sights and screws, you know, all those things you just collect. So I probably gotta keep them like sizes, huh? Man, this is gonna be so nice. Nice to have that deep drawer there. Wow. Not chasing that stuff around anymore. Down here, plenty of room. I got more stuff, I just have it in several locations. It's gonna be wonderful to have everything down to one spot. In this bottom drawer, maybe I'll just do for my uh, big battery chargers and, and such. I've got several of those tenders and chargers. Oh, who knows where they're at? But that'll be a good spot for that. One of my subscribers brought up a really interesting point about electrical plugs. And what I was originally, it was a little bit different than what I was thinking. And what he said was he likes to put his plugs underneath the bench. And the reason was... Uh, you don't have wires running across your table uh, or your bench and you're not reaching to plug things in. And I've thought about that. That might not be a bad idea, but I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do that. I, I don't want to have to, you know, I don't want to have to like look down here every time I want to plug something in. I want something that's easy to plug in. I want a lot of plugs uh, with USB-C and USB-Bs. So if you want to plug your computer in, you know, you don't have your laptop. I work with my laptop out here, like when I'm researching stuff or learning how to do stuff. It's nice to have, not have to drag the power supply cord around and, you know, you know the drill. But um, that, but this here will be flush 
right across there. So we'll have a nice five foot of metal bench right here and then five foot of the, of the hard maple there and that'll be nice because it's uh, sometimes you like to work on steel and sometimes you like to work on maple especially when it's cold I, I don't like to work on a steel bench when it's cold if i'm doing small fiddly projects we'll get the vise installed and we'll build a bomber mount for that so that ties that right down into the concrete like we did we can't use the one that i made before because the bench is is quite a bit taller now came out to about 41 inches and it's just ideal to be able to be able to uh, have a bar stool, you know, a full height bar stool here, and then get in with the knees and have uh, ability, you know, I could edit videos or research stuff. It's the proximity is really close to the wood stove. So on those cold mornings, if you want to work there, you've got a nice warm, cozy wood bench next to the wood stove. And I enjoy that. And something that the guy shouldn't overlook is just having a garbage can handy. That's, that's something you, you want to have right around your work area. And the bar height is kind of nice, so it gives you the ability to get that underneath there out of the way. And you can store your bar stool under there and, and whatever, you, whatever need be. But this is going to be a whole lot better. I always felt that last one that we did with the small bench, that six foot of bench with the cabinets on both sides, I really felt boxed in by that. And just wasn't enough room to maneuver and it was a little bit far from the wood stove too and again on those cold mornings i found myself like setting up over by the stove and now we're a lot closer and we do almost doubled our bench height and we've got good organization and security for our tools everything in one spot when you want measuring tools we're going to know where they're at now when we want uh, to do electrical repairs and trailer repairs one drawer we got a shrink tape we got all that stuff it's going to be a real game changer i know Guys like to point out, didn't you say that toolboxes were where tools go to die? I was quoting Adam Savage. He said that. And I had worked out of carts for a long time, but I've had a change of, of, of thoughts on that. You know, if, 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 yes, that can be the truth. And I have, I have a toolbox like that. When you have something, you just don't know what to do with it. It's, yeah, I might use this. It just goes in the drawer. You know, there is that toolbox. It almost, you almost need a junk toolbox. And then you need one for your everyday tools that you use all the time. But my ideas are evolving on that. And, and you know, I, I, you can think, I thought things, I thought, I've thought things 180 from what I, or had beliefs that are 180 from what I have now. And at the time I was sincere. I thought that that was the best way to go. But we, as we learn and, and move and evolve and our life changes and our needs change, there's nothing wrong with, uh, I mean, I don't know, you call it backtracking or whatever, but it just, um, I was wrong about that. Uh, I think that toolboxes do have a place and as long as you're diligent and you organize them and you don't you just use them as a depository for unwanted tools, then, um, then yeah. You can't tell a man what to do. Every, we all have different needs and that's why we're here. We're learning from each other and we're doing the best we can. And it's fun, it's fun. I enjoy having a shop. Uh, it's important, I think, for your mental Especially if you have kids, you know, it's, it can, you can really get on your nerves after a while and when you've been working all day and it, it's nice to have a, a place that you can kind of get away and just have some time to think and, and work on things and it, it enhances your life. Um, it enhances your wife's life. <laughs> and, so, and she should have a place as well. I think it's important when you're laying out houses, make sure to take that into consideration that, that she's got a place that she can go, a place of refuge. Uh, and, and you as well. Um, I think it's good for your marriage and good for your, just good for your mental health. And it's just one of the pleasures of life is in working and tinkering in the shop, I think for most of us. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I invite you to do that. If you wouldn't mind taking a moment and clicking the thumbs up, I sure do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep my family in your prayers and we'll see you all on the next video.